Hi, I'm Hank from the YouTube channel SciShow. There are all kinds of scientists out there. Maybe you've heard of biologists, chemists, physicists, or even astronomers. But have you heard of fluid dynamicists? These are researchers who study how fluids, like liquids and gases, move and behave. They study things like how air moves or how the ocean moves. Their work is amazing, and there's an easy way to study some of the same things they do. Spoiler alert, it also looks really cool. Cool. For this experiment, you're going to need some food coloring. We've got some blue and green and yellow. You'll also need a cotton swab, a large plate, some milk, and liquid dish soap. First, pour the milk onto your plate until you have a layer about a quarter of an inch deep, and then let the milk settle down until it stops moving. Now add one drop of each of your food coloring colors to somewhere near the center of the plate. Try to make sure they're close to each other, but not touching. Now grab your cotton swab. You're going to touch to the center of the milk. But before you do, pause the video and take a second to predict what you think is going to happen. You could even draw a picture of what you think the results will be. All right, carefully touch the cotton swab to the middle of your milk. Try not to mix any of the colors together. Not much happened. Now we could... We could draw with this, we could see what happens. Or we could put the other end of our cotton swab into our dish soap so that there's a little bit of dish soap on the cotton, and then try it again. Hold it there for 10 to 15 seconds and see what happens. Ooh. Go ahead and add more dish soap to your cotton swab and keep experimenting with this. You could even touch the milk in different places or try to make some cool designs. Why do you think this worked with the dish soap but not with the dry cotton swab? Make another prediction and then keep watching for the answer. To understand why this activity worked, it helps to know about molecules. Molecules are the tiny pieces that make up almost everything you can see. Scientists sort them into a bunch of different groups based on their sizes and shapes and other properties. Two groups are called polar and nonpolar molecules. Milk contains all kinds of molecules from both groups. Some of them are polar, like water, and others are nonpolar, like fats and vitamins. Dish soap, on the other hand, is special because one one molecule of dish soap is both polar and nonpolar at the same time. One end is polar, which means it sticks to other polar molecules, and the other end is nonpolar, so it sticks to nonpolar molecules. This is what makes the experiment work so well. When I touched a plain cotton swab to my milk, nothing happened. But when I added dish soap, things got interesting. Here's what was happening. The polar end of the soap molecule was trying to stick to things like water, while the nonpolar end was trying to stick to the vitamins and fats. The soap molecules tried to attach to as many other molecules as possible, so they moved all around the milk, pushing around the food coloring as they went. That's what caused the explosion of color. This activity is fun to watch as is, but I'm sure there are things you can do that could make it better. After all, figuring out how to make things better is a big part of being a good scientist. Once you've tried the rainbow explosion activity, see if there are ways you could make it more interesting. You could try using different kinds of milk, water, or other liquids. You could also try swapping out dish soap for another ingredient. Go ahead and experiment and let us know what you find out. Thanks for watching.